If you've ever been on tech YouTube, then you might have come across these types of videos. How I learned to code in three months and found a job at McDonald's. A day in the lunch of a software engineer. These videos are entertaining and they get more views than my videos ever will. But the main issue is that they give the viewers an unrealistic expectation about how long it takes to learn how to code and what it's like to be a software engineer. If it was so easy to learn to code in three to six months, wouldn't everyone do it? Hmm. Maybe that's why it's so saturated now. You don't see the countless amount of hours learning and struggling, constant feeling of self-doubt and wondering if this is a waste of time. The reality is coding is difficult and you won't be job ready by taking some YouTubers three to six month course. Honestly, I would avoid all paid courses on YouTube unless you wanted to support the creator. But if you wanted to buy a course, I would go on Udemy and look for the top rated course. It's not sponsored. It's just what I used when I was learning to code. I've always taken all of these courses and videos on YouTube with a grain of salt because I have trust issues stemming from childhood trauma. Anyways, if you're new here, I've been a software engineer for around two and a half years, and here's my honest advice for learning to code. When you first start learning to code, you may realize that there are so many different types of development, frameworks, and programming languages. How do you even decide which one to choose? For different types of development, there's like mobile, game, web, embedded. I would just choose whatever you're interested in and stick to it. But if you still can't decide, my rule is to choose whatever is the most popular because it will have the most amount of resources available. I'll pick web dev as an example. I would start learning HTML, CSS, and JavaScript and eventually have to pick a framework slash library. And I would choose React because it's the most popular. A lot of beginners make the mistake of trying to learn multiple programming languages at the same time without much clear direction. Imagine if you were learning three different foreign languages at the same time, Chinese, Japanese, Korean. It would be very difficult to become really good at one of them because you're always switching in between each language. If you only focused on learning one of them and became really good at it, then it would actually be easier to learn the other languages because you learn how to learn a language. The same concept applies to when you're learning programming languages and frameworks. A lot of the foundational knowledge does transfer over and it does become easier to learn another language once you've already learned one. This is because we learned how to learn and a lot of this knowledge just builds upon each other. So what I'm trying to say here is to just focus and specialize in one tech stack and if you want to learn other ones later on, it will be a lot easier. But now you might ask me the question, well, how long will it take me to learn HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and React? I don't know, because everyone learns differently and at different paces. These days, everyone wants results fast because we're in the instant gratification generation. That's why people sell courses promising to make you job ready within three to six months with no programming knowledge. I'm sure that they don't even believe in that themselves, but there are no shortcuts to genuine learning. When you rush to try to finish tasks as quickly as possible, you'll miss out on learning and understanding Understanding what you're doing, which will eventually slow down your learning process. Some mistakes I see a lot of beginners do are copy pasting code that they don't understand from ChatGPT, or watching tutorials on like two times speed to try to finish the video as soon as possible. It doesn't matter how fast you finish the video if you didn't actually learn anything. You'll quickly forget the information if you don't apply what you've learned from watching these videos. One tip here is that after you learn something in a video, try explaining it to your past self in a very simple way that you would be able to understand. Another mistake I see a lot of people do is they try to skip the foundations and start to build things right away. For example, if you skipped HTML, CSS, and JavaScript and just tried to build projects using React right away, it would be very difficult to progress because you don't have a solid understanding of the foundations. This is like if you try to build sentences in a foreign language without learning the alphabet, grammar rules, and words. So learning the foundations of a programming language is mandatory, and then you can attempt to build projects using my project-based learning method from one of my past videos. In short, this will save you time and get you out of tutorial hell, which is what happens when you follow these tutorials online without actually building something on your own. So when you're learning to code, you actually need to write more code than just watching tutorials. No one learned how to ride a bike by just watching a bunch of videos about how to ride a bike. They start riding, they fall down, and they keep practicing until they get it right. And this is also when you'll realize that 
you'll face a lot of struggles. When you either learn a new concept or face a bug where you spent the past few hours and you just still can't figure it out, you might start wondering, am I smart enough to code? What's the point if AI is just going to take all of our jobs anyway? The job market is so oversaturated. Down the negative thought rabbit hole. The funny thing is, we start blaming these outside factors only when we're facing struggle. When everything's going great, we don't think about these types of things. And I also felt a lot of these similar negative thoughts when I was learning to code. But then it happened so many times and I was just tired of feeling negative all the time. And so I realized it was just part of the process. No one started off writing perfect code. You just try different approaches until your solution works. And there was something that I didn't realize until I was actually good at coding, which was, it's not that the problem is impossible. It's just that you don't know how to solve it yet. And so any problem that you run into can be found online. The process of finding the answer to the solution is just learning how to learn. And back in my day, I would just use Google and Stack Overflow most of the time. But now you can use ChatGPT and it makes it so much easier to learn. You can ask it specific questions, follow up questions, and ask it to explain it to you in a very simple way. But let's say you still don't understand the concept or you can't figure out the solution to a problem. Take a break, go out for a walk, take a nap, come back to it later, you don't have to understand it right away. I feel like when you're first learning, you should lower your expectations a bit about how fast you'll learn because a lot of the times we put so much pressure on ourselves, which causes us to give up. But if you inverse that statement, if you put less pressure on yourself, it would cause you to keep going. And that's something I apply to a lot of things I do is I just don't put that much pressure on myself and I'm still going. But if it's been a while and you still can't figure it out, this is when it's good to ask for help. I would suggest asking your friends who know how to code or your classmates, or even join a Discord community where other people are also learning how to code. This would be very helpful to not feel alone in your journey. I feel like a lot of the times when I was struggling, it's not that I actually wanted to give up. It's more that I wish someone could have helped me make it a little bit easier. As long as you don't give up, Keep applying what you're learning by building projects. You'll always keep improving and over time it gets a lot easier. It feels so difficult to learn to code initially because there's so many concepts that you need to learn in order to actually do something. But as you keep learning, you'll realize that you'll reuse a lot of these same concepts over and over again. How good you are at coding is an accumulation of how much knowledge and experience you have. Once you learn how to solve a problem, you can reuse the same method in order to solve a same or similar problem. I think I think what separates me from a beginner that's learning to code is that I've probably already seen the problems that they've ran into. I know what to do because I've been through the struggle already. But even if I didn't know what to do, I have the confidence to figure it out. And you'll build this confidence over time by solving more and more problems and gaining experience. But what if you spent all this time learning to code, build some projects, and you still don't like coding? Well, I actually didn't like coding as well. I kind of just went through college not really thinking too much and just did whatever classes I needed to do. I also built an iOS project as a side hobby, but I realized that I didn't really like that that much either. It wasn't until my last class in college that I figured out what I wanted to do. We had a class where we got to choose what kind of project we wanted to create, and I chose React, and I was hooked. But even if you don't like coding right now, I think it might be because you haven't found something you truly enjoy. My advice would be to try to find something that you want to build that would make your life easier. If you like what you're building, then it'll be much more easier to finish it. I know a lot of people are learning to code because they just want the money, like they don't care if they enjoy it. I don't think you have to love coding in order to become a software engineer. You just need to be good. Employers don't care whether you like the frameworks that you're working with. If you can code well, then you can find a job. It's just much easier to learn if you actually enjoy learning. I don't think you have to be coding all day, every day after work. You don't have to make tech your whole life. I'm like that and a lot of my friends are as well. But if it's something that you're going to do for a job just for the money and you hate coding, I think in the long run, it might be difficult to keep doing it every day. But anyways, those are just my thoughts. That's my honest advice for learning how to code. Bye.